Even though a free throw in basketball is considered a free shot, it's not always the easiest shot to make. I'm here to show you by following a few simple steps how to shoot a free throw. First, I'm going to explain how you earn free throws in a basketball game. The majority of the time when you earn a free throw, it's because there is a shooting foul. A shooting foul is when there's physical contact, contact in the process of shooting the basketball. If you're inside the three-point line, you earn two free throws. If you're outside the three-point line, you earn three free throws. There are different ways to earn free throws in a basketball game, but that is the most common way. Now I'm going to show you how to shoot a free throw, but first I'm going to do it without the basketball. The first thing you do is place your dominant leg or your shooting arm leg in the middle of the basket. You will know where the middle is because there will either be a line going straight down the middle or there will be a nail that you can see to place your foot. In this case, it's going to be my right leg because I'm going to be shooting with my right arm. So you place your dominant leg in the middle. Your non-dominant leg is going to be about shoulder width apart and it's going to be a little bit behind your dominant leg. Not too far behind because you might get off balance. The next thing you're going to do is place the ball in your hands. Like I said before, I'm going to do this without the basketball so I can explain it. So after you have the basketball in your hands, you're going to do a routine. Everyone has their own routine that they do before every free throw. This routine will tell everyone that you're getting ready to shoot your free throw and it gives everyone a chance to catch their breath because they need a little chance to relax. You also have 10 seconds to shoot a free throw, so you don't need to rush it. My routine consists of spinning the basketball and dribbling it three times. After you do your routine, you place the ball in your hands the way you want. And then you bend your knees and have the ball in your hands. You want the, you want the tips of your fingers to be under the ball, and you want your dominant hand to be in an L or a 90 degree angle. Your non-dominant hand will be on the side just helping you hold the basketball. So after you do this stance, everyone knows you're about to shoot your free throw. After you do this, you're going to move your body in a fluid motion, and your knees and your dominant arm are going to extend fully. Your legs are going to end up on their tiptoes, and your, once your arm is fully extended, you're going to flip your wrist. You're going to have your wrist in the middle of the basket. As some people say, you're going to put your hand in your feet. If you hold your ball through, you have a better chance of making the basket. So once you extend everything, the end point is going to be like this. Now I'm going to show you how to shoot a free throw with the basket. Another way to remember the steps to shoot a basketball is by remembering the word B. B stands for balance, elbow, eyes, ball through. Balance is going to consist of the first few steps of placing your feet shoulder length, shoulder length apart so that you have enough balance to stay steady. Like I said before, don't put your non-dominant leg too far back because then you might lose your balance. Then elbow, 90 degree angle, L shape to hold the ball. Then eyes, you want to have your eyes at the back of the rim because if you have it at the back of the rim, you're going to focus on making the shot. Then F is follow through. You want to, like I said before, you want to hold your follow through, flick your wrist, and put your hand in the cookie jar. In conclusion, these are the few steps that you should follow to shoot a free throw. If you don't want to remember all the steps, you can just remember the word B. Also remember to also think about hitting the shot. The more you think about you're going to hit the shot, the better of a chance you have of hitting it. Thank you.